I got a call from the terrace. I just happened to be at the desk, and I picked it up. She said, we got a cold. I just said, be right there, hung up the phone, ran out the door, crossed <coughs> the courtyard, to the, through the east wing in the elevator, was there, and I went downstairs, and they told me she was in 326. So I just, I'm sorry, not 326, well, three something. And I went down there and they had the door open. They was doing the code. I took over, I said, you need to go call. So she could go call 911. And I started calling and the other lady was back doing the press with the bag. All right, tell me what you saw when you came into the room. Lois was, that's the nurse, was doing compressions and the aide was doing the bag. And the nurse was doing what? Chest compressions. Chest, chest compressions. From the time you came in, you took over doing chest compressions from Miss Lois, correct? Yes. All right. And you continuously gave chest compressions until Miss Lois came back? Yes. At which time you relieved the nurse's aide named Miss Mabel. Yes. And you guys continued giving CPR until the EMTs took over? Yes. You mentioned a few minutes ago that once you start CPR, you shouldn't stop. Is that correct? Yes. Or why? I mean, you're trying to save a person's life. Once you start it, unless a doctor says stop, you have to continue. That's always been the rule. I'm the queen of residence rights. All right. All right, did, did you hear what he just said? Yes. Help me can't breathe. Would you agree it appears as though he's gasping for air at this time? It looks like it. Well, you're a nurse. You, you know when someone's gasping for air, correct? Yes. All right. If you saw this when you walked in the room, would you agree that it appears as though he's gasping for air? I would. Is that an emergency situation, ma'am? Yep. Yes. And according to my notes, it was the call light was initially hit at 434.35. All right. So I would like for you to assume for me that the call light was initiated at 434.35 and she walked into the room at 442.18. Is that an acceptable period of time for someone to answer a call light? No. Nope. Right. Does he still appear to be in distress? Yes. Does it look like his heart respirations are elevated? Or that his respirations are elevated? Not so much elevated, but labored. Maybe. All right. And it appears she left the room by 4.44.23, correct? Yes. Did you see her do an assessment of Mr. Dempsey? No. Did you see her take vital signs of Mr. Dempsey? No. Did you see her do anything other than do a med pass and reposition him? No. And turn off the call light, correct? Correct. All right. Do you believe that that interaction with Mr. Dempsey complied with the standard of care? No. And ma'am, you're a supervisor at SAVA, correct? Yes. You supervise nurses, right? Yes. All right. If you witnessed this nurse, had you seen this as it was happening, would you have written her up? Yes. 
How does it make you feel to watch this, ma'am? Sick. Okay, who just came into the room? That's me. Okay. So, you recall testifying... Like me. I'm pretty is sure it, it is. You came into the room at 623.10, correct, ma'am? Yes. All right. And contrary to the way you testified previously, there's no one doing CPR, is there? No. All right. If you recall, what you testified to previously was that you started CPR and you kept going until the EMTs arrived. Do you recall testifying to that? Yes. All right. Man, was there something funny that was happening at 6.30.41 on February 27th, 2014 in the middle of I have no this attempt clue, to resuscitate sir. Mr. Dempsey? I have no clue. I can't even remember all that, as you can see. Do you see any sense of urgency on the part of any of the medical providers here, ma'am? including yourself. I think I was doing pretty good considering I didn't have anything to work with. Okay. Well, when you testified earlier that you walked in and started giving CPR from the moment you got there until the EMT showed up, that really wasn't the truth, was it? Sir, that was an honest mistake because I was just basing everything on what I normally do. Okay. That's not what you said when I asked you the question earlier, was it? No. All right. L earlier you testified that you remembered walking in and seeing a nurse on one side of the bed and a CNA on the opposite side of the bed. You remember testifying to that? Yes. Crash cart there in the room. They were yes. providing CPR, correct? Yes. You went over there and you took over so that one nurse could go call EMS and you gave CPR from the moment they left until the EMT showed up. Remember that? Yes. All right. But watching this video, we don't see that happen at all, do we, ma'am? No. All right. Again, it was an honest mistake. That's what I generally do. Tell me what the environment should be like. It should be bustling with people. I'm sorry? Bustling with people. All right. Busy. That's right. Do you believe that Mr. Dempsey and his family deserve better than this, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Is it appropriate for you to have stopped giving CPR at this time, ma'am? If the thing is not working. Well, shouldn't you be doing chest compressions right now, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Any reason to stop after six compressions there, ma'am? Not that I know of. Okay. My question is, is that the way a code is supposed to work? No. 